What's going on YouTube? It's Maddie with Fusaro Fitness and I just want to share a video today talking about low back pain. It's going to be short, just a few exercises that may be able to help you out. Disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. This isn't medical advice. I haven't had any major back surgeries or major back issues. It's not chronic pain in my case. It's just acute low back pain known as discogenic lumbar pain, mainly due to just poor lifestyle habits, mostly posture. I just did a video recently talking about posture, how I have a somewhat of a kyphosis, so my upper back is rounded, shoulders internally rotated. I have trouble sometimes keeping the lordosis in my lower back from sitting at the computer way too often. So these little things can lead to pain down the road. It's not simply just physical appearance. So I've been dealing with pain in the lower middle portion of the back near the SI joint. And then it leads to sciatic type symptoms where you get a pain that radiates down your entire leg. It's uncomfortable to sit, stand, walk, lay down. Not something that anyone wants to deal with. So if you're dealing with issues similar to this, these are some exercises that my chiropractor suggested to me from the work of Robert McKenzie, who actually has a book called Treat Your Own Back. I highly recommend reading it. It's a short book, easy to understand, and can give you some insight if you do have these kind of pains. But anyway, these exercises greatly helped me out. And again, remember, these are just acute problems that I'm dealing with, occasional flare-ups. I am not in chronic pain. Just little things as when you wake up in the morning, you have a very tight lower back. Something as simple as bending over to tie your shoe may feel like a struggle. You get a little bit of pain in that lower back. So these exercises can help alleviate some of the pain. You've heard of piriformis syndrome before, which is a muscle that gets inflamed. It's near the sciatic nerve and you can get similar symptoms to where that pain radiates down your leg. So these exercises might be able to help you out. Um, definitely give them a try. Make sure you read into them a little bit as well. If any more pain persists beyond what your normal pain is, then definitely discontinue the exercise. Some of you may diagnose yourself with piriformis syndrome and you try and foam roll it out or sit on a lacrosse ball. While these may feel better and alleviate the pain short term, they are not going to fix the issue. You have to get looked at by a professional and let them help you out. A lot of chiropractors you go to are going to tell you things you don't want to hear. They're going to tell you not to lift and not to exercise. Make sure you do your research and look around. Ask for suggestions for people who have had similar conditions and have successfully been treated. So let me just show you a couple of the exercises that have greatly helped me out. This will be the first position where you want to hang out for about two or three minutes and make a conscious effort to remove tension in your lower back. So you do not want to be flexing your glutes at all. You need your entire body to relax in order for this exercise to work. After hanging out in position one for a few minutes, you can move on to position two. You're going to place your elbows under your shoulders so that you lean on your forearms. And during this exercise, take a few deep breaths, letting all of the muscles in your lower back relax. You should remain in this position for two to three minutes as well. After you finish exercise two, you can move on to exercise three, where you place your hands under your shoulders into the press up position. You're gonna push the top half of your body up as far as the pain permits. And again, make sure you relax your pelvis, hips, and legs. Keep your pelvis, hips, and legs hanging limp and allow your low back to sag. Some people may not be able to hold their body weight up with their arms and their shoulders and triceps may tire out. If that's the case, you can remain on your elbows and continue the same exercise done in position number two. If you're not responding from these exercises or the pain worsens from where it initially started, do not continue to do these exercises. Remember, this is not medical advice. This is something that I personally tried out myself. It has helped me. I've spoke with other people and it has helped them as well. The goal is to get the pain to be centralized. So coming from your leg and going into your middle to lower back. What I mean by that is if you have the sciatic pain going down your leg and you do the press up, the pain should be alleviated from your leg and be focused in the middle to the center of your lower back, which is a very good sign. From there, perform these exercises multiple times throughout the day, and within a few weeks, that pain should be gone. The one thing you want to remember to do when speaking to your chiropractor or physical therapist or whoever it is that you go to who is a medical professional, ask them what their directional preference is. For me, mine is extension. 
So I want to be in that extended position and stay away from lumbar flexion for now. So I don't want to be bending over like that as that will cause the problem to worsen for me personally. Also, if you have experienced these problems yourself and found a way to alleviate the pain and cure them, or if you're a medical professional watching this video, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm sure you can help out a ton of people, myself included, and we love the feedback. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your support as always. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and follow the journey. I will be documenting things that are going on with my lower back, going to the chiropractor. I'm still lifting in the gym. I'm doing what I am told. I'm not pushing it too far, but I'm just looking at this as a little bit of a setback. It's discouraging, but a setback is a setup for a comeback. So I'll be back in no time, 100% full strength. Thanks for the support. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.